at a US Open. We are uh, watching eh? great matches, uh, both women's and men's tennis. So I can't wait to see the semis uh, and, and, the, and the finals. I think it's, it's awesome, outstanding. And our next video, we were going to talk about the tactics eh, that pros are using at the US Open. But uh, I don't know if you've seen the video about the forehand, three winning patterns with the forehand. Uh, uh, we, uh, I think we love it. Uh, I, I heard I had so a great feedback from the coaches talking about uh, the, the drills. Eh? So uh, if you missed it, if you didn't see it, go to our library and, and, and find it. Today is going to be the best backhand video you've ever seen about how to build the point with the back. Watching Djokovic, uh, Murray, Burdich, all the players and women's too, of course, uh, we, we can see those uh, patterns with the backhand. So we're going we're gonna to demonstrate a wonderful uh, uh, display of drills uh, with, and games, actually, with uh, uh, our uh, star, which is, is, uh, is coming from the second time in a row to stay with us, to join us, Christopher Mandeville from Palm Beach, the little Christopher, 10-year-old. He did a wonderful job with the forehand patterns. So, so we're going to do that with Christopher today. So, uh, quick thing about the stances, coaches. Um, be careful when you're working with little ones in the st first stages of the development, uh, but when teaching open stances. Of course, the velocity, the speed of the ball, and coming ball makes the player, you know, hit open stances more often than not. However, when we are teaching little ones, we have to teach the proper fundamentals, proper way. So the proper way is to hit, I call the neutral stance. I'm not talking about close stance, don't get me wrong. I'm talking about this. Right-handed players stepping with the left leg. This is not Wimbledon, just in case. <laughs> uh, it's our backyard. But uh, actually, the, the, the grass is too high to play tennis. So, but see, I see so many pros instilling the open stance from the beginning, which is I completely disagree. You gotta teach kids to close the stance, to hit through the ball, and then to recover with the right leg. If Andrew can follow my, my footwork, so you get in position, you hit the ball, you let the racket go through it, and then after you recover. Okay? That is exactly the proper way to teach at the beginning. So later on, the speed of the ball, the speed of the game will make the players to adapt, to adjust, so the open stance will come naturally, which is actually this, eh? it's this, not this. Eh? So, so I think I, I wanted to, to discuss this a little bit because uh, it's sad for me to see a lot of potential good juniors players wasting their time on the court, um, moving really bad because of this, eh? poor teaching. So I think it's our responsibility. Don't blame the players. Eh? We have to be responsible for that. Let's move to the video, the backhand video. I can't wait to do it. So uh, we want to hear from you, of course. Comment and, and, and enjoy the US Open and enjoy this beautiful weather. Hopefully in your place, is, the weather is good too. If it's raining, eh, get the umbrella and watch our videos. Take care, see you next time. Yeah, ready for the, our backhand video. We have our star. Eh? So uh, you, you introduced yourself last time, but I forgot your name, so I'm really sorry. <laughs> Can you say it again? Christopher Mandeville. Louder, louder. I'm Christopher Mandeville. How old are you? I'm 11 years old. You you play tournaments, Christopher? Yeah. Okay, okay. Are you, you have any ranking in Florida, in the state? I don't remember. You don't remember, okay. Uh, it's okay, don't worry about the rankings. I like that. I mean, we are not acting. Eh? I didn't eh, tell him. You have to say this in front of the camera. No, so I love that, you know. Rankings, he's 10, 10, 12. Yeah, you know, it's motivated. It's good to have a good ranking, but it's, not, it's nothing really huge in this stage. Christopher, you're gonna help me, help, eh, for, uh, uh, to produce the, the backhand video. If you are here, once again, it's because you did a wonderful job with the forehand video. Okay. Everybody love it. Everybody was asking me, who is that boy? Eh? Plays really well, hits the ball really well. Eh? So I'm really proud of you. Thank you so much for coming from so far from uh, uh, West Palm Beach, which is West Palm Beach is up north about hour 45 minutes driving. So it's not as close as you think it is from Miami. 
So uh, also uh, Christopher, uh, that Ricardo is here with us. Uh, he's he's going to say bye today. So the farewell. And and actually we have a, a another player eh, helping us uh, with with Christopher. So let's go. Are eh, you ready? Yeah. You shake hands. Good luck. <laughs> First, we're going to talk about the shots to build the backhand pattern. What shots our players must practice before you start explaining to them why it's important to have the backhand pattern. To me, the backhand pattern is very important to teach at the beginning since um, we don't see... Uh, normally, we see the backhand the weaker side of the two compared with the forehand among you know junior players, adults, some wannabe pros, college players too. So the backhand cross-court pattern is a very good way to test your opponent consistency, to test their ability to stay cross court, uh, 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 you know, for a long period of time. And for yourself to wait for the right short ball, the right shot, to change the direction down the line. So I think it's a great pattern. Everybody else has a st strong forehand. Everybody, almost anyone can keep the ball cross court with a forehand. But not everyone is capable, skillful enough to do it with the back cross court. This is the topic about, okay? So show, uh, we're gonna show you the shots that you need to practice first to later build the pattern, okay? Let's go, Christopher. Loopy shot first. But well, we need that loopy shot. Beautiful. Another loopy, please. That's the shot that you have to teach first. Excellent. Now the drive cross court. Drive. Perfect. Now the slice cross court. Backhand, beautiful. Short angle. Perfect. Do it again. So, coaches, make sure you teach the students these shots first. The loopy shot, heavy top spin. Be careful. There you go. Just one each. One of each. Drive. Beautiful. Slice cross curve. Deep. So, teach them all the shots, all the repertoire of shots. Okay. Excellent. Try again. Soft angle. Off speed angle. Beautiful. Okay, now we're going to teach, we're going to show the down the line shots that they need to have later on to make the change. Okay, Christopher, now we're going to do go down the line. Backhand down the line. Aggressive down the line. Try again. Be determined. Go. Yes. Now the in, up the line forehand. Up the line. Another choice. Slice backhand down the line. We've seen Andy Murray, Roger Federer. Wow. And the drop shot. Surprising drop shot down the line. There you go. Try again. Try again. Try again. There you go. Again. Again. Go back. Go back. Go back. Move your feet. Move your feet. Come on. Be intense. Come on. There you go. You see the intensity. The intensity changed in that shot. Sometimes you need to talk too much about do this, do that. Just simply telling the students, be more intense. And that will force them to uh, be more alert, more awake. Eh? To, to make the shot. So teach first the cross court shots, as we just seen. Then the down the lines to make the change possible. And then we're gonna put together a couple more uh, choices that they might have. And later we're gonna do some games for you. The, the other uh, 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 alternative is to teach the student to rally cross court, to wait for the short ball, and to come to the net cross court behind. Beautiful. And you see the coach. Eh? Uh, thanks, Ricardo. Wonderful job. You're a great feeder. Eh? Great guy. <laughs> so he's feeding the ball to Christopher's forehand to, to make it very realistic. Eh? So backhand cross court. Now inside out. Come to the net. Come to the net. And he covers the line and he volleys cross court. And the last, excellent. Okay, Christopher, come back, please. Hurry up. Before, wait, wait, wait. Before I start, Christopher, turn. Watch me. This is like a lesson. All I want you always to be intense eh? between shots. Never wait for the ball from your coach standing still. You got to think this is a real match. Eh? Let's go. So move your feet. There you go. Now, backhand cross court. Slice backhand and come in. Another alternative, another pattern. I want to teach the, the, the students, okay? And of course, the backhand approach down the line as well. Okay, Christopher, well done. Hey, Christopher, excellent job, eh? I'm going to present four uh, exercises, four drills that uh, to enhance this 
wonderful tactic. Uh, of course, you can do this by playing points, having a competition between players. I don't want to do it now. This is not a showcase about who wins. Eh? It's just showing you the, the games, the drills, okay? Enjoy those. Okay, the first drill is a game, also you can do this by points, of course, is the rally cross court to enhance consistency during the rally. Eh? Just good high over the net, Christopher. High number two or three? No one. High number two or three? High number two or three? We are talking about heights. Is hitting the ball okay. higher over the net. High number one in my book is hitting, hitting too close to the net. Okay, so that is exactly the height. So you want to have the student just rallying cross court. Uh, you can do this by balls, of course, 40, 30, 20 in a row. No four counts allowed. A cross court, Christopher? Beautiful. Recover, 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 recover. Hit well and then recover. See, no four counts allowed. And then once again, you can do this by points, of course. Eh? But just have the players hitting backhand cross courts. No four counts, no down the line changes yet. Just backhand cross court drill. That's it. Okay? The next game after the cross court exchange is a backhand cross court rally waiting for the short and right shot actually to go down the line. And we're going to have Christopher making the change. No, I said the change was right, Christopher, look at me. But I want to see the backhand down the line in this game. Okay, son? Only backhand allowed. We're specifically working in one situation, otherwise it's too confusing. And just one at a time, like a puzzle, and little by little, putting the pieces together. Good. I don't think it was a Christopher. Do you think that was the right shot to go down the line? No. Move the ball. Move the ball, please. Why not? Let's hear from the player. Excellent. So wait probably for a higher ball. Be patient. Rally cross court. Keep your dad guessing that you're going to go cross court all day long. Recover. Recover. Great. Oh, he doesn't allow you to change, eh? I think, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you had the ball to change. Your dad was all off the court and you had the ball there. You, you can try. So, Ricardo. Okay. Okay, we, we, we want to wait for the tall Christopher to wait. That is my probably. Yes, perfect, perfect. The next drill, uh, Ricardo, you can use now, you're going to practice the up the line change with the forehand. So go cross court and then wait for the forehand. Okay, that's the next step in the progression. So cross court backhand. You can use the inside out too. So he's going to go cross court. Okay, and he is waiting for the ball to go up the line. Excellent. Hey, Ricardo, make sure he practices a shot from a deeper position on the court, please. Thank you. So he's going to go cross court. We want the player. Good job, Christopher. Stay. No, 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 no. no. Stay cross court and wait for the right ball to go down the line. Stay cross court with the forehand, okay? Nice. There you go. You see? Excellent. Now we're gonna practice the slice down the line. So you go cross court and you make the change with the slice down the line. The next progression we have in the player. Uh, actually, Christopher pop up the string, so he's using my racket. <laughs> so uh, 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 he 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 wants to go cross court and do what I Andy Murray does a lot. Try again, Christopher. Go cross court, consistent. There you go. And as soon as you can, change down the line with the slice. I try again. I like it. I like it. I like it. Great. Go cross court first. Go cross court first. And then change down the line. Eh? The good thing about this, this is real. This is uh, what you guys are going to see in lessons. The kids struggling with these things. How often you practice this, guys? So never make your players do things they never practice. Eh? So make sure. Go. Now you go down the line. Okay? In the next one. Okay? See, it's a tough drill. Eh? This one is probably the, one of the hardest. Slice down the line. 
There you go, Andy Murray. And the last progression, Ricardo, he's going to go cross court and he's going to make a drop shot down the line. Hey, Christopher? So you go cross court now. The next progression, we have the player hitting backhand cross courts, deep, waiting for the ball to surprise the opponent with a drop shot down the line. Perfect, perfect. We saw Andre Agassi doing it, Novak Djokovic, Guga Kuerten. They use that drop shot down the line a lot. And the final progression is coming to the net, attacking the net. Okay, so Christopher, you're going to get a short ball. Okay, and no. when your dad gives you a short ball, you come to the net. Okay. And Ricardo, if you can play, I mean, as soon as he comes, when he comes, play the ball and he will volley, okay? Please. So in the last progression, we want the player to attack the net. So he, he will have to come to the net as soon as he gets a short ball from the partner or coach. That's the, the chance. Come in, come in, come in, follow the ball, and volley to the open court. Perfect. Try again, try again. And so teach your players the transition games. And the other say, Christopher is only 10. Eh? Guys, there you go. Open the court and volley to the open court. Perfect. Look at that. Hey, man. Okay, awesome. conclusions. I hope you enjoyed the video. A lot of work to do. Once again, thanks, Ricardo, for coming from Palm Beach, bringing your wonderful son. You're doing a wonderful job with him. Wonderful foundation, clean technique, simple, bright future. Well done, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We definitely have a lot of uh, things to keep working on. I uh, love this game. I think he, we definitely have more things in the menu. And thank you so much for giving us insights and try to get a, become a better use a back, back and pattern and use all the different combinations. Thank you so much. Thank you, you guys. Thank you, Christopher. You did Thanks. a wonderful job, eh? Amazing. Great work, man. You're only 10. So, wrapping up the session, back and cross court, start out with a rally cross court, then teach the students the different options with the down the line change. Uh, uh, but go step by step, one step at a time, one drill at a time. If you t give them so many options, okay, now you do whatever you want. They're going to think too much. So one at a time, and then in the middle of the match, they will do what is, is, is going to come first to their mind. So it's simple, specific, one drill at a time. Have a lot of fun. Questions about this, comments, write us to the email, YouTube, Facebook. And I think that was awesome. And I, once again, we love, I love personally to see errors when the students are performing drills because it's, it's going to happen. It's normal. Eh? So I love this. I love uh, uh, to see things uh, going to the net or wide because there's the real life on the court. We have to deal with that. So thank you so much. Enjoy the US Open. See you next time.